Get ready! You're tuned in to Tea Time Unfiltered with your girl, Lovely T, bringing you the hottest trending topics on social media. Stay connected. Instagram.com slash Lovely Tea 2002. Hey, you guys. Welcome to another episode of Tea Time Unfiltered with your girl, Lovely T. Yay! Yes, you guys. I hope you guys are doing good. Happy Monday. I cannot believe how fast this month is going. It is already the 25th. Isn't that crazy? I feel like we just got into 2021 and, you know, the first month of 2021 is almost over. But it's definitely been eventful, honey. Okay. So I hope you guys are doing good today. Um, I want to come on here and talk about the Master P situation, okay? So if you guys do not know, Master P is currently going viral on Yahoo News, Rolling Stone. They are talking about Master P everywhere. And why are they talking about Master P, you ask? They're talking about Master P because he went off today. And basically, Master P is upset um, because black people have turned the Clubhouse app officially into a one billion dollar company that is what the company is now estimated at which is funny because just in may it was only estimated at 100 million which is you know a lot of money but now it's estimated to be at one billion and they'll soon be going public so master p definitely feels a way about this so i want you guys to go ahead and listen to what master p has to say it's it's all about just being able to chat with our people i know that we you know, we going on Clubhouse. I keep telling people, we go on Clubhouse. We making another one of them a billionaire. We just did it, just with Clubhouse. We need to create stuff like that to where we control the narrative and we able to put money back in our community and our culture. But, you know, if one of us did that, we would be saying, nah, I don't think, I don't think that's going to work. Why would you call it Clubhouse? It's not a club. We come up with all different type of excuses, right? Nobody cared. Everybody went on Clubhouse, blew this up. You know, this guy went to the bank, got whatever he want. Uh, he's going to take that company public. We're not thinking like that. The only way we're going to be successful, we don't have to start taking companies public. That's the way you build wealth. And we creating so much wealth for them. And all on thing we... All right. So you guys just heard what Master P had to say. And I will say that Master P made a lot of good points. He really did. Um, it is because of so many black people and, you know, black creatives that have made a lot of these social media platforms huge money. OK, a lot of people would not have been checking for a MySpace, a Facebook, an Instagram, a YouTube, a Twitter if it was not for black creatives. We come up with some of the funniest shit on social media, some of the funniest skits. We keep it real doing our commentaries. You know, we do a lot of stuff to make social media go round. And let's not even get into TikTok. How many young black girls have created dope dances that have gone viral, but they never get the respect and accolades of others on TikTok who do the same dances. So he's definitely, you know, speaking some truth when he says that, you know, unfortunately, sometimes as black people, we're so quick to run and go support these platforms. And we're so quick to, you know, put our time and energy into promoting them for free, for free. And we've seen this happen time and time again. Let's not forget, we are the same group of people, honey, who made Popeye's a, a struggling restaurant. We literally brought them back to life. We breathe life, honey. We resuscitated, okay, them dry ass chicken sandwiches with a pickle. I mean, so much so that they sold out nationwide. You couldn't have paid for that type of promo that black people gave Popeyes. From the memes to the gifts and all that stuff. You know what I'm saying? We are the biggest pushers. We are, we can, black Twitter can turn anything viral. OK, from colorism topics to, you know, police brutality to the latest dance moves, we shift the culture. People can try to denounce that and try to ignore it and try to look the other way. But black people on social media, I don't care if you have a name, if you have a following, if nobody knows you, we make shit move, period. People watch us all the time and they run to go reinvent the wheel and then they get the credit for it. When I first started on YouTube, I remember it was tons of black women in the hair community. 
And you had this small group of natural hair black women and they were teaching women how to, you know, take care of their hair, what type of butters and oils to use and things like that. Then you slowly saw a shift in the hair market. Then you notice people like Suave and Pantene started adding shea butter to their products. They got a, they got rid of sodium lauryl sulfates. They got rid of parabens and a lot of stuff that used to be in shampoo and conditioners like 10 years ago. But they watched young black women on YouTube, you know, give uh, product reviews and, you know, make their own products, mix things in their kitchens. And then these big companies took from that and took that back to the lab. OK, people don't like to talk about it, but it really did happen. So now it's 2021. We know we're often imitated, duplicated and not compensated, unfortunately, so, you know, he definitely feels a way that black people have ran to make the Clubhouse app very, very popular. Now, let me be honest with y'all. I've never been on Clubhouse and it's not because I haven't been invited. Uh, my niece sent me an invite. Other subscribers have sent me an invite. One, I have an Android. OK, team Android. We do have iPhones in this house, but I love my Android. So but I was told I could use the Clubhouse because I do have an Apple iPad. So I do keep an iPad, you know, for certain things that I cannot do on Android. But even on the iPad, I haven't downloaded the Clubhouse app. I just haven't really been too interested in it as of yet. I'm still trying to hear the feedback from people. Some people say it's really cool. You get to meet other people, hear different voices. From the stuff that goes viral on that app, it seems to be drama filled. But people say that that's just a small section. It's not like that on the app. So I don't have a dog in this fight with the app one way or another. I'm not going to knock it because I never tried it, but I can just go off of what I've seen. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I appreciate that. You know what I'm saying? No disrespect. Yeah. Um, I just wanted to say thank you. I know it's some heavy hitters in the room. Y'all are dropping jewels like left and right. And so for somebody like me, who is an entrepreneur, actor, singer, a model, developer, sandwich artist, and skydiver, um, it just, it makes the vision so much real. And so just to give you some background on me, you know, I started off in stage plays, you know, uh, back when I was six years old. So my, my debut was Please Mama don't drop that thun thun on. And then, you know, afterwards, like I had like A&Rs and CEOs and astronauts coming to me like, yo, your voice is amazing. And I'm like, you know what? I never really thought about singing, you know, as a talent, it was nothing that really struck me. But, you know, I said, hey, all these people, you know, they hyping me up with the whoop. So I think I might as well just go. 13, I had entered into the school spelling bee and they were just like, Akila, you know, the whole hood's behind you. You got this. The word is prestidigitation. They had flashcards. Question becomes, do you all feel like it's beneficial to invest the $29.99 on Tinder to see who swipe right on you first? That video went viral. So that video was posted on Discord. Ten for Rican posted it. And when I saw that, I just fell out. So it went viral on social media. So a lot of people are saying that, you know, that's what you get in like these different rooms on, you know, Clubhouse and things like that but like I said I haven't you know myself tried the app but it was just funny to see that video go viral and a lot of people are like yeah she's speaking the truth that's how it is in there sometimes so I thought that was funny now from what I was told is that once you join the app they tell you a list of people to follow and usually the people that they tell you to follow is like, you know, lovely Joe Budden and, um, you know, a few other influencers. And he has a pretty big following on there. And I know people have said that, you know, he talks on there to people. He talks on there with people, gives advice and, you know, like really cool stuff. So I haven't really heard too many complaints as far as when Joe's on there talking on his um, clubhouse. But then there's also other influencers. And I guess you listen to them talk and you're in a room and then sometimes they allow people to talk or ask questions. I don't know, but that's just what I hear. Right. So my thing is this. While you do have this syndrome where so many times, you know, unfortunately, black people would not, you know, support things put out there by black people. Because there's tons of black apps, there's tons of, you know, black um, entrepreneurs um, and things like that. And sometimes we're slower to get behind our own. You know, like I always tell you guys, some of us have the mentality that the white man's ice is colder. And I can tie this back to Meek Mill. Um, a few months ago, Meek Mill had took to social media. He basically came out and he said that he wanted to build a music platform in 2021. And he was taking on where he wants to take on like the majority of the ownership. So he tweeted this out. He says, me, little baby, 
and Durkio trying to get somebody in Silicon Valley to build us a music platform where we can be the majority owner. We will pay. We need top Silicon Valley steppers, please. 21 going link in two. We need some app options. We looking for the best platform builders trying to get started in 2021. Now, while that's dope that he wants to come out with an app, that's dope that you had these young brothers that are trying to pool their money together to, you know, create their own platform. You know, in the same way that Twitter CEO Jack Dorsey, he connected with his so-called best friend, Noah Glass. And, you know, when the heat got too hot, he basically pushed him out the kitchen, took the CEO position for himself. And now, you know, nobody knows who the hell Noah Glass is. His name will never really be mentioned in the history books of Twitter. So, yeah. <laughs> that's for that's a podcast for another day <laughs> poor Noah Glass if y'all don't know who that is honey google and find out but my issue with this tweet is um Meek don't just put all your hopes in Silicon Valley there are black and minority app developers people who are in tech you know the black tech field it's growing slow, but it's still growing. More young black people are getting into tech because that is where the money is. The money of the future is going to be based in medical. medical people are always going to get sick. So medical, anything in the medical field is always going to expand. Tech is growing. And as black people, we got a slow start on tech. That wasn't pushed. You know, when we were growing up. It's, you know, you got to be in entertainment, be in front of the camera, rap, sing, dance, be Beyonce, be Lil Wayne, be, you know, basketball player, football player. That's what was drilled into our generation and some of the kids coming up after us. But this new generation of young people, a lot of them are gearing towards the tech field. You know, a lot of them are seeing the big picture because it's being drilled into them a lot earlier. So don't put all your hopes in Silicon Valley. What a lot of people don't realize is a lot of those tech people in Silicon Valley are some of the grimiest motherfuckers that you would ever deal with in life. They are cutthroat. We'll cut each other out. You better research some of these people that you're begging, begging to build your app and to build your platform. Yo, what's up? Baby, let's go. Hey, tea sippers To listen to the rest of this podcast, please go to Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, Stitcher, Tuned In, or AnchorFM.com, which is a free podcasting site. Thank you guys so much for the support, and stay tuned for the next video.